Hello, readers. For your phonics practice today, you're going to need your reader's workbook. And you're going to turn to page 19. It's hard to see, but I just checked that the next page is 20. The copier cut it off. So page 19, and you'll see vowel, vowel, what do you hear? So what we're going to do is cut the pictures and sort them according to the long vowel sound that you hear. So if you hear A in the word, then you're gonna cut the picture, put it here, and try your best to write the word, okay? And if you hear the long I, then you're gonna cut the picture and put it here, and then try your best to write the word. Since this week we're working on long I, magic E. Okay, so you'll need some scissors, a glue stick, and some crayons if you want to color it in. All right. And I'm going to cut my little pictures off very carefully. And remember, good cutting skill is to turn the paper and off the scissors. Scissors always face the same way, but I just turn the paper. Makes it a lot easier. All right. Now I'm going to look at these pictures and I'm going to glue them all first and then I'll write the words, okay? And we're going to do, you can do this together with me if you would like. So, or you can pause it and try your best to do it on your own. It's up to you. Okay, so I have the word plain. So I'm going to think plain. Oh, definitely a long A. A. Okay. And then I have dice, d, I, ice, I. Okay. And then I have k, I, t, kite, I. And then I have k, ache, k, ache, cake. And then I have hive, I've. Hive goes here, and then I have snake, a slide, and frame. All right, I've got them all. I'm gonna check and make sure. Plain cake, snake, frame. Yep, those are all a, and then dice, kite, slide, hive. Yep, those are all I. All right, so now I'm going to glue them all down. Nice and neat. Okay, and then I'm gonna write the words. So, this word, snake got crooked. This word is plain. So, I'm gonna, I recognize that I have a blend at the beginning, so I have p, o, a, n, and I know magic E, right? That's what we're working on, and that's what makes the A say its name. Soon it won't look right if it doesn't have an E at the end. You'll be like, oh, that needs an E. Okay, cake, k, ache, and I know the k sound can be confusing, but we know cake is C-A-K-E. All right, snake, s, n, ache, and frame, f, frame. Oh, almost forgot my name. Ms. Rambo. All right, now to our I. Okay, dice. Remember that the s sound at the end can be a C too, which we'll learn about later on. But for now, you need to know this is dice. Tricky C, trying to pretend like it's an S. Okay, and then we have kite, k, I -t, slide, s. Slide, 
and hive. Hive. All right, look at that. Very nice work, Miss Rambo. Very nice work to you all. And then if you like, you can color it. I'm gonna take a few minutes and color it and get some creative juices flowing. I colored in all my pictures. I'm going to read my words again to myself just because I know as a good reader I practice my reading every day as much as I can. Okay, plane, cake, snake, frame, dice, kite, slide, hive, and then I might go show someone in my house, maybe Marcy, that I know all these words now. All right readers, I can't wait to see when you're all done with yours. Please take a picture and put it up in Seesaw. All right, you got it.